And I also want to ask Beth a very personal question since she's got her background in religious studies. Mm -hmm. People have been commenting on my content on Instagram and telling me that by getting my microchip, I'm summoning the devil. Something I found very unsettling that I wanted to talk to you about is people have been saying that I'm the devil and yep. people have been commenting Bible verses under my content. They've been telling me I'm getting the mark of the b Do you agree with them? Like, <laughs> Do I agree with them? No. <laughs> <laughs> Am I doing a devilish kind of behavior? Like I'm keen to hear your thoughts. No, so I'm an anthropologist looking at religion and technology. I, I don't come from a specific religious perspective, but I am looking at people who use these kinds of satanic, demonic narratives to talk about the future of AI, the future of transhumanism, people who are, like yourself, engaging with technology at the physical level want to have it within their bodies, that they do tie this into their personal interpretations of apocalyptic scenarios. It overlaps with some um, more uh, broad spiritual new age ideas as well about what's natural and what's not natural. And this idea that if you're taking on board technology and becoming transhumanist or using AI, that you're engaged in something that's malevolent, that is satanic and demonic. These are narratives of rejection that actually you can see going back to the origin of other technologies as well. So, you know, the printing press was responded to as the work of the devil. Some people are very literal about the satanic element and some people are very literal about the God element as well when it comes to talking about AI. So these narratives interweave with each other in very interesting and creative ways. But I'm just, you know, I'm sorry that people are calling you names online. It's not very nice to have that experience